Okay, folks, this is day three of the Great Fuel Injector Swap Out Project on the 94 Nissan Sentra. I don't think I'm going to call it that, but I don't know what I'm going to call it. I haven't even begun editing or anything. So, I should be able to finish this project very soon today. Uh, what we're going to do is actually push this thing out of the carport here. So we get kind of out here and we can get some sunlight because I don't want to get the electrical light out. And then we're going to go over everything. We're going to check it out really carefully, make sure everything's good. And then we're going to fire this puppy up. I'm really looking forward to that. So let's get on with this. Okay, we're just about ready to fire this thing up. I have uh, went over everything with a fine tooth comb, double checked everything, and we're ready to go here. Um, <clears throat> I have not put back my air breathing system because I want to keep that out of there because I've got to keep an eye on this fuel line. That's new, and I got to be able to see what's going on with the fuel injector because I've had two points of the fuel system apart, and I've also got a uh, down in here. There's a line that's uh, carrying antifreeze up into here for whatever crazy reason I don't even know, but uh, this air system. Part of it's just laying down here, but it's out of the way, it's no problem. Um, this thing should start up just fine without this on here. And I uh, just want to see if it's going to run. I want to, of course, my biggest concern is fuel leaks. I don't want a fuel leak anywhere. Fuel leaks are not good. Uh, and I don't have a fire extinguisher. I neglected to buy a Skeeter's approved <laughs> fire extinguisher when I had the opportunity. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about there, I'll post a link to a video of a YouTube buddy that um, has videos pertaining to car fires due to fuel leaks. Um, but I'll post a link to it. Um, so you can uh, check out uh, my friends in uh, Idaho Falls at Skeeter's Auto Sales and uh, got some interesting videos there, um, especially some pertaining to um, fuel fires. Nasty stuff. Hadn't really thought about it much until I, I saw Jeremy's videos about that. So let's go ahead and get back to this now. Um, set the camera up let's fire this up and uh, see what it's going to do i'm going to start this thing and get right out here and make sure i don't have fuel leaking somewhere but if i do <clears throat> i do have my garden hose out here that i can quickly uh, use to extinguish any uh any fire that could happen uh, probably won't but you never know best to be prepared
<laughs> okay, folks. We have had success. It was a little bit of a rough start up. It didn't want to fire. But I'll tell you what, it is sounding so much better. I can tell already. But it is cold out here. It's only in the 30s. And we don't have the air breather on. But I'm going to let it sit here and warm up. And get very nice and warm. And uh, just sit, let it sit here and idle. And uh, it's doing so much better. I can tell right off. I'm very, very happy.